hello everyone and welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to be teaching all of you how to use data store 2 in roblox studio so data store 2 is a very secure data store and it's better than the normal roblox data store which is very buggy this one has a lot of extra saving to make sure you don't lose your data so you just want to start off with getting uh this module in the, this module script in the description and yeah Okay, now that we're in Roblox, so you want to go to view, and then you want to go to the toolbox here. Then you're going to go to my model, models, and then go see data store 2, data loss and catching prevention, okay? So, you're going to want to put the main module into server scripts server, and just say, like, a data module, okay? Just something like that, okay? And now that stays there, okay? So, usually when you're requiring a model, you, you require it, so, so uh, like, with the ID, but the problem with that is that it takes the time to uh, download it, so just having it there just makes it a bit easier okay so now we're gonna want to go to server storage and quickly insert a bool value okay and this the name is very important so you're going to do save capital s in capital i and then studio okay so this is uh if you want it to save in studio or not so i wanted to save in studio but that's completely your choice okay so yeah so see you it says over here uh save in studio object Okay, so just save it studio. I, I'll do true. Uh, that's up to you. Okay, now using data store two. So you first you're going to insert a script it. Uh, it just serves script service. So we're going to call it leader stats. Okay, and then we're just going to do a uh, game dot players dot player added connect functional function uh, player uh, local folder equals to instance dot new uh, folder comma player folder.name equals to uh, leader stats and then uh, local money equals to instance that you int value comma leaders int value comma folder money dot value equals zero money dot name equals to uh, just money and then let's just create an additional stat uh, which would be uh, Set of money, uh, we'll do like, uh, I don't know, diamonds. Okay, so we'll do uh, diamonds instead. Okay, so now, so now we have two things, two leader stats. Things we have diamonds and money as leader stats. Okay, so now you're going to insert another script into this, and this will be uh, each, uh, each of your data, which is in leader stats. So first, we'll do money. So let's just call this script like money. Okay. So uh, you could just create a folder, call this uh, data, okay? So put the data module here, and then put the folder, in, and then put in uh, stats. Just call it stats, and then put the money in the leader stats in the folder, keep it a bit more organized, okay? So first we're going to do local data store module equals to require works on uh, no, a game dot server scripts service dot data dot stats. No, no, dot data, dot data module, okay? So you cannot move the position of data module or it's not gonna work, okay? So now I'm gonna do local starter value, uh, no, uh, starter value equals to zero, okay? Just like that. And then local current stat equals to money, okay? So uh, me putting the current stat in helps it, uh, helps a lot with, uh, with duplicating it and just changing uh, uh, small things, okay? So, we have starter value which is zero and current stat which is money. Okay, so now we're gonna do game not players not player added connect function uh, player. Okay, and now we're gonna do local current data store for our current stat which is money equals to data, data store module Okay, data store module, uh, parentheses, donated, which is uh, like the key, and then player. So this is the player's, uh, no, not donated, I, why am I, money. Okay, so this is the player's thing. So instead of everyone's key being unique here, it's all the same money, and it's just the player themselves, not user ID, not name, just the player, actual player themselves, okay? So data store module, money, comma, player, okay? So now you're going to do a uh, repeat wait until uh, player the leader leader stats. So until the player has the leader stat and and player 
Uh, player that leader stats. Fight for a child. Fight for a child. Uh, current stat. So the current stat here being money. So as you can see, why I put it up here. Uh, I put it up here so it's just easier. Okay. So now we're gonna do a uh, local function. Local function. Uh, uh we'll, we'll just, uh, why am I, why am I freezing? Okay, so, uh, we're just gonna, uh, we're just gonna call it, uh, update stat, local function update stat, and then, uh, just update a value. Okay. So now we're gonna just do, uh, player, the leader stats, find first child, find first child current stat uh, dot value equals to current data store which is the data store module get so getting the data store and then uh, update a value okay so we're just getting it from the data store and we're gonna put it uh, into uh, no so it just gets it gets the, the value from the data store and it just sets the value to it okay so then we're just gonna do a stat, uh, stat up, uh, no, update stat, which is the local function. We're gonna call it as soon as that happens, and we're gonna do a uh, starter value. So if the player has no data, it's just gonna put in the starter value of zero to that stat. Okay. And then we're gonna do uh, current data store co uh, call it on update capital O capital U on update. Uh, and they're just gonna do uh, update stat. Okay, so as let's say the player does have data, as soon as that comes in, it's just gonna update uh, the leader staff, uh, update it. So that's there. Okay, so now we're gonna do player dot leader stats. Find for child current stat. So we could just take this. Get property change signal. Get a property changed signal value connect function. Okay. So so as soon as the money value changes, we're gonna do uh current data store set. No, current data store set just like this, colon set. And then we're gonna do uh player the leader stats find first child current stat dot value okay so uh after uh the data has been loaded into the server for uh th like the previous session to the stat that anytime the stat has been changed in the game then uh it will set to the data store automatically as soon as it's changed okay so now uh let's just quickly test it so i'll just press play So as you can see, we have money and diamonds, okay? So we have money and diamonds at the moment. So uh, if we just uh, quickly uh, go to, uh, let's see. So test, and then we just go to current server. So now we're on the server side. I can manually change my stats. So let's just make diamond 12 and uh, money 300, okay? And stop, and then press play. If I'm right, only money should save. Okay, I realized something. You have to publish the game and uh, enable uh, 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 API accesses. That's completely my fault. So let's just uh, create new game. Okay, so just just create the game. Home, game settings, uh, security. Enable API services, so data stores. So now let's redo that. Okay, so we're back. Test current client. Now we're current server. So we have players. Let's make diamonds like 13. Money uh, 200. So let's go back to current client. So I'll just press stop and if I write only the money will change okay so I'll press play 
Okay, money saved, 200. Okay, and if we didn't have a uh, save it studio on, it wouldn't have saved. So now, let's say we want to do this for diamonds. So we're gonna duplicate the script. We're gonna call this diamonds, okay? We're gonna call this diamonds. So now, the only thing you don't wanna change is, uh, so leader set name is diamonds, okay? So you just, all you wanna do is change current stat to diamonds, and then data store module to diamonds, uh, uh, no, no speed, uh, just all lowercase. And then you're completely done with that. Just duplicate it and you have the other one. So now, uh, if you were to change both of them, so now, uh, let's change uh, diamonds from z zero to 144, random number. I press stop. And then I press play. Look at that, 124. So it's saved. So uh, in the end of this, uh, why is Data Store 2 better? Data Store 2 almost has no data losses apart from the like the basic data store system. Roblox will lag and uh, it will wipe out your data like very often, which is a problem. So that's why Data Store 2 has like a lot of backup data stores and make sure your data doesn't get lost. So that's why Data Store 2 is just a better module to to use the general end data store so yeah uh that's for you guys i hope you enjoyed be sure to like subscribe and turn on notifications bye